we are continuing with exercise 1c now we shall move on to question number 7 so question number 7 says the product of two numbers is 15 by 22 okay and one of the number is minus 5 by 6 we have to find out the other number i'll assume that the other number is so x into minus 5 by 6 is equal to 15 by 22. So from here I have to find the value of x. So x will be how much? 15 by 22 into minus 6 by 5. Obviously you think you know this. So now 5, 15, 3 times, 5, 2, 3 here, 11 here. The final answer is minus 9 by 11. So, how much you have to multiply? Minus 9 by 11. Okay. That is question number 7. Question number 8 is similar. Question number 8. Again, the product of the two numbers is 46 by 28. One of the numbers is minus 7 by 16. You have to find the other number. I will assume the other number is x. Okay. So from here I have to find the value of x. So x is 46 by 28 into minus 16 by 7. So this will give you by 4, 4, 7 here. And your final answer will be 184 by 49 negative. Minus 184 by 49. This is the final answer for question number. 8. Now moving on to question number 9. The question number 9, you have to find the value of the expression a plus b divided by a minus b. The value of a and b is given. I am taking one question. Suppose a is minus 6 by 7 and your b is minus 2 by 5. Okay. So what I have to find? I have to find the value of the expression a plus b by a minus b. So a is minus 6 by 7 minus 2 by 5. a is minus 6 by 7 minus of minus 2 by 5. I hope this is clear. So now this is minus 6 by 7 minus 2 by 5 divided by minus 6 by 7 plus 2 by 5. Okay. Now in the numerator, my LCM is 35 and you will have minus 30, minus 30, minus 14. In denominator also, this will be negative. Yeah? Denominator also, LCM is 35, minus 30, this time it will be plus 40. Okay. Now, if I simplify it further, this will be minus 44 by 35 divided by minus 16 by 35. So this will be further minus 44 by 35 into minus 16 by rather if I take the reciprocal minus 35 by 16 so 35 and 35 cancel minus minus cancel and by 2 8 times by 2 22 times by 2 4 times by 2 11 times so the final answer is 11 by 4 okay the rest of the questions you can attempt using the same process now i shall move on to question number 10 the question number 10 says the cost of 8 and 1 by 5 meter of plot is rupees 10 and 1 by 4. Okay, so what is given? Cost of 8 and 1 by 5 meter is rupees 10 and 1 by 4. What do you have to do? You have to find the cost of 1 meter. So, how much is the cost of 1 meter? Of course, rupees 10 and 1 by 4 divided by 8 and 1 by 5 okay so now 10 and 1 by 4 is what 
10 into 4 is 40, 40 plus 1 is 41, 8 and 1 by 5, 8 into 5 is 40, 41, so this will be further, to be 41 by 4, if I do into 5 by 41, isn't it, this will give us rupees 5 by 4, 5 by 4 if I convert to mixed fraction, so 5 by 4 if I convert to mixed fraction, this is 1 and 1 by 4, the final answer is rupees 1 and 1 by 4, that is question number 10. Now let's shift to question number 11 and see what is there. The question is by what number should 65 by 30 be divided to get minus 13 by 6. By what number 65 by 30 should be divided? So let's say I am dividing by x and how much I should get? Minus 13 by 6. I am dividing 65 by 30 by x so that I get minus 13 by 6. Now I have to find the value of x. Okay. So this is basically if I do cross multiplication 65 by 30 this x will go here. So minus 13x by 6. Okay. So now from here I will find the value of x. So x will be 65 by 30 into the 6 will go up. And this minus 13 will come down minus 13 like this. 630, 5 times. 13, 65 also 5 times. 5 and 5 cancel. The final answer is minus 1. Alright. That is question number 11. Question number 12 are all filling the blanks. I think you can attempt that on your own. So that is the end of exercise 1C.